Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon Frain. We are back with another video. Today we're talking about BitTensor Tau subnets and how you can analyze all of the various subnets on the BitTensor blockchain. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video as well. Go ahead, grab it now, and let's talk about Tau subnets. So we've been covering Tau for a while on the channel here. And if you're not familiar with BitTensor and the Tau network, you should definitely check it out at BitTensor.com. Today, however, we're talking more specifically about individual subnets, which act as individual businesses on the Tau blockchain all trying to provide the most valuable information to the network. So you've got a whole bunch of different subnets like shoots uh, that have different types of AI models and use cases that are all essentially competing to provide the most valuable information for getting rewarded in the Tau token. So what you can see is that essentially the incentive mechanism with the Tau blockchain is for all of these individual subnets and businesses to provide the most valuable information so the overarching AI network can continue to grow, improve, learn, adapt, and essentially generate more users over time, okay? So that's the idea behind all of these individual subnets. And what I wanna focus in on today is essentially how we can view and analyze these different subnets using different BitTensor Tau consoles. And we're gonna talk about some of my favorite options. So the first one we're gonna look at here is taustats.io. Again, I'm gonna leave links for each of these consoles in the description below this video, guys. But over on Taustats, it's essentially like a console or a directory that gives us a whole bunch of data and information about all these individual subnets, okay? Um, I'm on the homepage here right now for Taustats. You can see that the price of BitTensor Tau's token itself is about $444.40, a nice number there with all the fours as we're making this video right now. But if I scroll down here, you can see that it starts to list all of these individual subnets like Shoots, Tauhash, Targon, Gradients, Templar, etc. These are some of the largest subnets on the BitTensor network. And you can start to analyze each of these individual subnets by clicking into it and gathering interesting data. Okay, if we go into shoots, for example, you can see the price of the shoots token right now denominated in Tau, but also denominated in US dollars. So you can see the individual shoots alpha token itself is trading at 0 0.278 Tau, which is the equivalent of about $123 USD. Okay, so you can purchase individual alpha tokens over here on Taustats, you can connect your wallet pretty seamlessly. You can actually see I've got my wallet connected already here on Taustats, and you can see that I actually have a balance available of 0.063 Tau in this particular wallet. Again, it's just a test wallet, but we are connected here on Taustats, and I have the ability to purchase 0.63 Tau worth of the shoots subnet token. So if I click on the max button here, you can see that 0.06 tau is going to get me about 0.22 shoots alpha token, okay? Interestingly, you can also see how the shoots token has traded over the past number of days, weeks, and months by looking at the chart here, let's zoom out to a daily, we can see the performance of the shoots token against BitTensor's Tau token. You can see we had a big run up in price. We've been moving into a bit of a consolidation period here over the past few weeks, but you can measure and map the performance and price action of these individual subnet tokens on taustats.io. And you can see other interesting data like the market cap, um, you can see that we're sitting at 126 million, the fully diluted valuation for shoots right now sitting over 2.6 billion, $7.3 million of volume going through this particular pair here over the past 24 hours. We've got max supply of 21 million for the BitTensor token as well. We've got 1 million shoots tokens in circulation, and we can see the alpha in the pool as well. So lots of key insights here using Taustat. It is one of my favorite, um, probably my 
my favorite dashboard or console for analyzing all of these individual subnet tokens. The next one I want to look at very quickly is Backprop Finance. Backprop Finance is another uh, console that we can use for getting a quick snapshot of data. And I do like the way and the layout here on Backprop Finance because you've got, it's very similar to CoinMarketCap and how they kind of list all of the different crypto tokens. You can see all of the individual subnets listed and ranked by their overall market cap here by default, you can also get a very quick snapshot of how old the subnet is, its market cap, its price per token, its emissions, its performance over the last seven days, and its performance over the past hour, 24 hours, along with its fully diluted valuation. So again, I like how it gives you all this information in a very quick snapshot, so you can analyze and get very quick insights about each of the individual subnets as you scroll down through Backprop Finance. Okay, if I jump over to the next option, uh, we've got TauMarketCap.com. Again, this is kind of a similar layout to um, Backprop Finance that we were just looking at. It gives you very quick information about the price, performance, market cap, volume, and circulating supply. There's a couple different metrics here on TauMarketCap.com, but similarly, you can scroll through all of these different options and you can analyze very quickly the price per token of the subnets from a dollar perspective and you can click into any individual subnet to get more detailed information. Again, you've got charts here for performing a comparative analysis of the alpha token for shoots against um, against the US dollar and against Betent or Tau's token, Tau obviously as well. You can connect your wallet. If I click on connect wallet here, I'm actually getting a wallet pop-up here in a different screen. I'm selecting my wallet account to connect and you can see that we're now connected and I have the ability to go ahead and purchase these alpha tokens directly on Tau Market Cap as well. So I can choose to per, um, intentionally select about 0.06 Tau again, which is going to give me about 0.22 shoots tokens. Okay, another very interesting way to monitor and analyze all of these different subnets and what's happening here. And finally, I want to talk a little bit about Tau.app. Again, this is another super useful console and dashboard for analyzing all of these different subnets. If we look at the overall um, information here, I do like the initial dashboard here. When we come to the home screen, you can see a lot of key information about the total market cap of all subnets and then the total fully diluted valuation. I like this snapshot because it tells me this is what the current ecosystem is looking like in terms of the amount of um, live market cap for all of the subnets on the BitTens or Tau blockchain. And in my opinion, again, this is not financial advice, guys. I think we're going to be seeing this total market cap and this total fully diluted valuation number increase exponentially over the coming year or so and obviously well into um, the next number of years but i think given where we're at in the overall cycle with bitcoin uh, pushing up to try and retest all-time highs if we can see the price of tau continuing to move higher i think you're going to see total market cap and fdv increasing exponentially across all of these subnets and i like the tau.app gives you a nice quick snapshot here as well you can also see the most traded tokens by one day volume so again you've got tau hash sturdy gradients and shoots leading the way here in terms of one day volume you can also see top gainers over the past one day so sturdy is up 53 percent you've got condenses ai up 32 percent sking up 22 percent subnet 78 up 34 percent i like that we get this snapshot here on tau.app and then a kind of similar dashboard to what we saw on backprop and on tau market cap you've got super condensed information here that you can scan through very quickly very easily and i did see that they actually pushed an update here just in the past few days where you can actually drag and drop some of these columns for actually making it more customizable for the data that you want to prioritize and review for each of these individual subnets so again we've got price per token we've got performance over different time frames you've got total market cap fully diluted valuation, emissions percentage, tau liquidity, volume, uh, volume one day percentage, and then you've got even more here with the root prop and you can customize and add and remove different columns again to your own liking. So again, if you wanted to see the alpha liquidity, you could add that here at the very end and it's going to drop that in so you can review alpha liquidity across 
the individual subnet. So I think this is probably one of the most comprehensive dashboards for getting quick information here on Tau.app, and it gives you that highly customizable layout that you can use. Again, I've already got my wallet connected here, so I have the ability to, again, click in and get detailed information about any of these individual subnets. You can price them in Tau, you can price them in US dollars very quickly, toggling that on and off. So let's take a look. Maybe I want to see information about, you know, a particular subnet. I could take a look at, um, maybe if we go into the Explorer here, we can see um, a little bit more about subnet 93. Actually, the Explorer is actually another good page. I was looking at this earlier. You've got all these different visuals about fear and greed. You can see fear and greed uh, coming up and down here in terms of sentiment happening across the different subnets. You've got some of alpha prices. You've got tau injected versus tau reserves. Um, you've got reserves over injected. You've got root tau staking numbers. You've got tau emitted to root stakers. So lots of nice visuals here in the actual uh, metrics dashboard on tau.app. Again, you can search individual subnet tokens. I'm gonna to search for subnet 93 for Bitcast, which is a subnet that I'm very interested in. I've spoken with Will and Tom, the founders, lots of exciting stuff happening over on subnet 93 from a marketing perspective for uh, different businesses. And again, you can see that I have the ability to actually swap in and out of Bitcast subnet 93 alpha token if I wanted to. So I can, I can again, purchase this token. I can trade it here on Tau.app. It's giving me um, lots of information, uh, lots of data for decision making, but I can also actually go ahead and purchase those individual tokens. So that is it, guys. That is all of the different dashboards and consoles that I am watching and using for analyzing different subnet tokens. Again, we're still so early in this journey for BitTensor Tau and everything that's happening over here with um, with all of these individual subnets. I'm going to look up subnet 93 again here for BitCast over on TauStats because um, I like what the team are doing at BitCast and I'm very uh, excited to see how this is going to continue to grow. So, you know, obviously none of this is financial advice, guys. You have to think about uh, your own doing your own research and looking at not just the prices of these different alpha tokens, but the real root problem that each of these individual subnets is trying to solve because the incentive mechanisms for the Tau blockchain mean that all of these individual subnets are actually competing against one another and then miners on each of the individual subnets are competing against each other um, in order to actually earn the subnet alpha token as yield for essentially mining um, that individual subnet token. So you've got to understand that it is a competitive landscape and it's intentionally designed to be very competitive. So many of these subnets that are alive and kicking today may not be around, you know, 6, 12, 18 months from now. And if you're going to be doing, um, you know, making investment decisions with your hard earned money, you need to understand that you have to do your due diligence. You need to understand the problem the individual subnet is trying to solve and how that plays into the overarching Tau ecosystem. And if it's truly going to be competitive enough against all the other subnets so that it can actually um, accrue Tau rewards. And if you're going to be partaking, um, either staking your tokens with that particular alpha token, to generate yield, you need to understand that it has to be competing and competitive against other subnets in order to continue to grow. So hopefully that's all making sense. That is it for today's video, guys. Um, if you got any value out of this video at all, please do give it a thumbs up below. I'm running an experiment, and this is another video as part of the BitCast brief series on BitTensor Tau. Again, check out the other videos. I will leave them at the top of the screen here if you're interested to learn more about BitCast. But I'm experimenting and I'm actually running a miner with BitCast and mining on their uh, subnet so that you can uh, hopefully get some insights about this video and the yield that it's able to generate from providing information in a video just like this. This video is essentially acting as a way for me to mine subnet 93. If you want more details on that, drop a comment below this video. 
Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you got any value at all. It really helps with the algorithm. It helps to spread the good word. And I'm super interested to see how much growth we're going to see with BitTensor Tau this cycle. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button on this specific video. Leave a comment if you're feeling brave enough as well. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin linked below this video. And we'll catch you in the next one.